everyone, it's me. Uh, I hope you're having a good Christmas, or Hanukkah, or Kwanzaa, or whatever it is you celebrate. I don't really care. I hope you're having a good winter holiday. Uh, so I'm going to do a holiday special. I don't really know if I would call it a holiday special, but whatever. So, I figured I'd start by going over my Christmas haul for today, for this year. Uh, Mega Constructs, uh, Masters of the Universe, Man at Arms, Stratos, and Evil Lynn. Uh, if you don't know, I'm actually kind of a big Masters of the Universe guy at the side. I have Castle Grayskull over there, just off screen here. I have this is a Skeletor that came with Castle Grayskull. Uh, so you got the Mega Constructs Wind Raider, Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime. Because uh, I'm also a big Transformers nut. <clears throat> big Transformers nut. There's Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime. I got these brand new pants here, which I'm wearing. Uh, I got some Transformers Bot Bots. Got this handful here. It's a lovely bunch. There goes one. Uh, I got a Wii Sports Resort, because I never owned that growing up, as well as two Wii Motion Plus uh, knockoffs. Yeah, I, the only way, to, apparently the only way to get them for real cheap was to get some leg knockoffs, but whatever. They, I hope, I think they work just fine. And, uh, the subject of today's video, the Hot Wheels Advent Calendar for 2019. Now, I'm officially, I have officially completed the 2019 new model set. I just ordered the last two this morning. Because my parents forgot to get me the eBay gift card I asked for, so my dad's just like, oh, forget her if you... If you wanted to buy these two specific things, I'll just buy these two specific things. We'll be here the day before New Year's Eve, so that's nice. So anyway, this is apparently a very last minute gift. My parents even confessed they found it. So you get these things at Aldi, like um, the discount dollar store, and the cigarettes are ripped, but the uh, thing's still in there. So it says there's eight cars out of 24, uh, just like last year. They released one last year, I got that. It has some cool cars in it. I wanted to do a series on it during December, but I got it in November, and I couldn't wait, so I opened them all in one day. I recorded it so I could get my reactions, and then I don't remember if I ever uploaded it. But for those of you who signed onto the channel because of the Hot Wheels thing, here you go. So let's, uh, wait, let's upside down. Let's upside down so you do it like this. this will this stand on this carpet? Yes, it will. Okay, so first off, you open it up, it's got this lovely graphic with a uh, very terrifying elf. I want this to come with, like, a meme yeti, because la last year it came with, like, this hilarious looking yeti. I've dubbed it the meme yeti. Uh, got a snowman. Santa cruising around. And then all the cars that you get in the background, and, like, some buildings and stuff. And Christmas tree. And the elf has a flag. Okay, that's nice. So then... And this is also a thing, cause, so if you don't know, a lot of children's advent calendars these days, they have like a, uh, like this thing on the bottom, you're supposed to stand all the stuff you get in it. So, it looks like there's a, like a two lane track here, or three lane almost. So I guess it looks like what you're supposed to do, is you're supposed to like, put it up, prop it up, and you start here and you just let them roll, so it's like, bootleg, uh, downhill racing. And there's a, I guess this is a winner's putty, let's put the first, second, third there. Some tires and snow and stuff. I don't know what this is. But that's cool. I, I don't know. I'm not going to be positioned. Oh, it says workshop parking only as a sign there. It's kind of cute. Okay, so I'm just keep this here. So let's just kick things off with day one. The damaged one. Uh, this will be my live reactions. I don't know what's in here, so. And we have ourselves Bad Ratitude. Or, no, wait, no. I think I changed the name. Okay, it's a Radical Racer. Radical Racer. So it's based off a rat, but I know it is Bad Ratitude because they used to call it that. I, th I think so anyway. I don't know. I have a brown one. I'm pretty sure it says Bad Ratitude, but it's in bad shape. So I'm glad to get another one of these. I dig the gold purple. I like that. I really like the purple tires. These tires are purple. That's awesome. They're really deep purple, too. I, I love the color purple, by the way. So it's cool that we get that. There's Radical Racer. Uh, you want, oh, shoot. You want me to go over, like, let me do, like, an ancient Hot Wheels history-style review. 
So Radical Racer, let's take a look at the base code. Uh, it says Radical Racer, copyright 2012 Mattel, it's got the Hot Wheels logo. 1186MJ1NL, made in Malaysia, so it's a black metal painted Malaysia base. Uh, has a production code of M21, which is the 21st week of whatever year M was. Got this on the bottom, here's the front, side, back, top, the nice flame deco. And it has purple open hole fire smoke with some black painting on it for the tires. Uh, I'm probably not, I'm, I'm gonna do that for the cars. Uh, anyway, moving on, day two. I don't know why they don't put these in the orders, it's so stupid. This one looks looks pretty big. Mm. Oh, is wait. I have a clapper, by the way. Um, for the lighting in here, I have a clapper, so that's what that was. Please don't tell me. And this is just a redeco. So basically, they released a bunch of like these accessories for your cars that come in the set, right? And they clip onto the tires in the last last year's one. And they had this sled, and the sled's cool because it has wheels, like actual Hot Wheels tires. But this is just a redeco. So the other one, I'm not gonna pull it out because I don't really know where I have it anymore. I'm pretty sure I have the uh, sled on my shelf and all the other accessories in a green, in a green plastic bin over there. But I don't know. So you basically just clip the front tires into there, and it'll just roll down a hill. So yeah, the problem with this sled is that because of these. It doesn't fit on tracks. So you can't use this for any of your stuff. So it's basically just a display. I used to keep Midnight Auto, the, the Midnight Auto that came with last year's set on this, but I think Midnight Auto went somewhere else. Anyway, so that's day two. You're gonna get this sled. Day three. really hard to open. Got another car. Ladies and gentlemen, I can get it out. Come on. Get out. Monta Racer. A uh, Monta Racer is an okay car. This is probably, I'd, I'd say Dega Wise is my favorite Monta Racer. I have a Super Chromes and an X Racers version, so. It's nice to see this. It's got uh, the whatever these are, the these tires. You got a nice brown and aqua, or it's like a dark red, something. I dig the brown and turquoise, whatever. It's got some nice metallic blue paint apps on there. It's got a, um, assuming this is metal, it's got a shiny black plastic uh, metal, or shiny black uh, metal, painted, painted metal base, unlike a Radical Racer, which had a flat black painted metal base. So these shiny bases are a lot harder to make out information. So it's, yeah, it says Mono Racer, uh, production code M21, Hot Wheels logo, like copyright 2015 Mattel, same address, and then it's a Malaysia base, so. Wheels spin all right, I got check a radical racer to do the check. To make sure there's no wheel defects. That would suck. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so here's Monta Racer. I think we call this. Day four. Oh, this one looks massive. What's this? This is this is just a re repack of that stupid ramp from the last one. Yep. I think they just took the entire set of accessories and redecoed them. Because here's the ramp. I don't know what this is for. This thing on the side has this like divot. There was never, like, nothing went in it. Yeah, I don't know if you're supposed to put something there, if it's used to, like, help you brace it, but it's a ramp. Watch it go. I mean, like, if you were a little kid playing, I could see how this would be nice, but if you're an adult collector, or I'm, I'm not really an adult. I'm not a legal adult. I mean, according to YouTube, I'm an adult, but I'm not a legal adult yet. But, you know, like, if you're, like, an adult collector or a teenager collector like me then you'd want then you you wouldn't want stuff like this stupid plastic ramp doesn't do anything you want the cars i bought this for the cars like at least the sled is cool because it has wheels but that can't fit on your track so 
Yeah, like, don't make me wrong. If you're a kid and you don't have any track and you this is all you have for a ramp, I could see how it would be good. But for me, uh, no. And the, uh, the last, last year's ramp was, like, a brighter white than this. This one's more of, like, a cream-ish color. Kind of weird. But, yeah, there's the ramp. Watch it go. Okay, day five. If I can find it. Seriously, at the very least, if the, with the Lego stuff, they bought, like, with the Lego having calendars, they bother to make it one, two, three, four, five. But I'd rather jump all over this thing. You know, it's a very small door, so let's see what it holds. Just a redeco traffic, or just a, another traffic cone from last from last year. Yep. Further confirming my suspicions, they took the entire set, just redecoed it, and just like last year's traffic cones, as the top of it is flat. I don't know why. I honestly can't say I know why it's black like that. No, not flat. I'm not black. I'm flat. Flat like that. It's flat on the top. Don't ask me why. Okay, so that's that's day four, you know, or day five. You know, stupid traffic cone, which I'm never gonna use. Okay, day six, probably a car. Get another car. The only things in this set I really care about. And the problem is these aren't like exclusive decos. These are just like multi-pack exclusive cars that they've uh, just throw. Or, like some of them are even just mainline cars that they just throw back in here. We got MR11. I actually don't have very many MR11s. I know I have the first editions one, where, where they had, where back when Hot Wheels was hecking and they're promoting that, uh, like the, like the FIFA World Cup or whatever. So they had a bunch of soccer themed cars. So, so they made MR11 for that purpose. So I have the first editions MR11, both colors, might I add, uh, green and red. And so here's another MR11. I uh, see they still keep the soccer ball tires. Or soccer ball, whatever's there. Soccer ball fenders. It's got uh, FTE2 or trapezoid five spoke wheels and white with black. I dig the orange and I like the, I do like the lines, especially here. That looks kind of cool. It almost looks like split wire from Battle Force 5. I don't like the exhaust pipes in the back. I don't know, I've never really studied MR11 sculpt. I do like, there's also the soccer ball pattern on the bottom. And anyway, so it's a unpainted. Uh, silver uh, plastic base. Put copyright 2013 Mattel M21 production code BDD12. If that means anything. Uh, and made in Malaysia. So that's your third car of the set. MR11. Oh, I got to do the check. It's okay. Yeah, it rolls. Okay, on the seven. Yep, that's another redeco. It's a reindeer. Oh my goodness, the frick. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but I don't know why you can make this out on camera, but there's all this grime all over this thing. Ew, this feels weird. Ew, it's disgusting. I was hoping I didn't just get infected with like the Black Plague or something. There's all this weird grime and stuff all over this thing. It's disgusting. And the problem is, just like the traffic, just like the traffic cone, there's gonna be a second one of these. Like the reindeer is cool because it's building up to something else. But the traffic cone's useless. So I don't know what what is up with that or what this grime is for. But you know, just to reveal the reindeer, he's gonna need to have like a flexible rubbery plastic. His legs can kind of bend. Look weird. But I'm afraid that I'm gonna catch something now. I don't know what what's up with that. That's disgusting. Anyway, on to the next one. Day eight. It's gonna be a car. Yep. Okay, this one's kind of mysterious. I think it's it's audacious. You know, remember audacious that one car? I only own one other audacious, and it's also from the same stock sucker series is MR11 that I mentioned earlier. So this is this is really nice. This is probably my favorite car of the set so far. It competes with Monoracer. My favorite deco. Even though the, it looks like the front roof is all scratched out. I don't know if you can see that. And I dig out how it says audacious on the on the hood. That's really cool. I like I also like this like flat ish but also kind of metallic y green. This looks really nice. 
probably my favorite car of the set so far. Just because, A, I don't have very many audacious. This is only, really only my second audacious. Of course, this car is very... Uh, well, this one isn't moving too well. A minute. That ain't good. This one ain't moving too well. Remember. But it, was, it rolls just fine. We just kind of, like, push it along, but... We spin it doesn't roll too well. That ain't good. Or at least it spins at all, but it doesn't spin too much. Uh, flat, unpainted, plastic base, made in Malaysia, M21, Capright 2002, 13 Mattel. Audacious. So basically, a bit of backstory. So the, this rear part here in Audacious, it used to be part. It used to be molded in the same plastic as the windows and all like the windows and stuff but then they retooled it I don't know why so that this is not part of the body not part of the windows uh, to this day I still don't have any of the original audacious mold I don't know why the, I don't know why they changed it I mean it isn't like like the one of the, there's like that how they ruined the accelerators models by retooling all the spoilers to be part of the body like, at least I could see where they, where they were coming from with that Okay, where was it? What was that? Day 8? I think it was Day 8, yeah. Yeah, Day 9. Uh, I think I find it. And it's a redeco of the snowplow accessory. So, okay, so these little accessories, just like the sled, you clip it on the front tires of your car back if you whatever it doesn't matter and bam you have this neat little snow plow which is even articulated a bit so i guess you can like tuck it away and then so you can plow snow with your cars and it's in silver instead of a primary color or something i don't know i kind of like the silver more because the other ones like last year all the accessories are in like red blue and green Anyway, A10, triple digits, or double digits, baby. Ugh. And it's a redeco of the ski mold. So they also made skis in the same silver color. And yeah, I do, I am starting to dig these skis. These are nice. I dig, I dig the silver. It looks a lot better than, like, what we got last year. But it's the same exact mold and stuff from last year's advent calendar. I swear, if I get a second meme yeti, it's gonna be amazing. Second meme yeti. Okay, day eleven. Wow, an original accessory. Oh my goodness, I thought they redecoed just the entire set, but nope, it's an original freaking accessory. It's a roadblock that says workshop parking only. That's fantastic. Way to go, Mattel. You did it. You, you did something. You had something that wasn't just a lazy reuse of a mold. You made a new mold, Mattel. Glorious day. Thought it was just going to be disappointing. Okay, day 12. Halfway through. Let's get this open here. Really far. Yep. Well, this looks nice. Man, just let me get it out. If I can get this out. Dang it, so tightly packed in there. Dang it, son. You know, the pull up by the wheel on it. There we go. Okay. It's Bone Shaker. As if I don't need. As if I need another Bone Shaker. I know it's one of Hot Wheels poster boys, but oh my goodness. I love this metallic purple deco. My pink wheels. Like, I told you I love the color purple, right? This is amazing. Also, the flame deco on the side, which it has what looks like a little skull in the flame. Isn't, that's really cool, actually. I dig this. The metallic purple, this is really nice. We still got the metallic silver skull, which is going to turn to black eventually because I don't take good care of my bone shakers. M21, so these are all cast out the same week. Uh, there's no copyright date on here, except it does say copyright Mattel. Uh, Bone Shaker, Made in Malaysia. That's really it. For the base. And it's got a... I forgot what these tires are called, but whatever. So anyway, there's Bone Shaker, and it looks awesome. 
With, I think that's definitely... Did Hung lose strategically? Because that's what I would call a halfway celebration with that bone shaker. Okay, day 13. The unluckiest of numbers. Really, the other traffic count. What was this? Oh my goodness, guys. It's another original accessory. I didn't, but I didn't think they would do two. I mean, one was enough, but two? Come on, Mattel. You're spoiling me. We have these tires. These tires. I got a big tire, a small tire. These both look like five spoke tires. So I do do think that's kind of cool. Kind of like the old roll cage, how they would have a tri blade tire molded on the back. Anyway. So, there's the tires. It's another original accessory not redecorated from the last year's advent calendar. Okay, day 14. It's another reindeer. Let's see, well, the other, the second, the first reindeer I got was pretty much just, no wait, no, I think the reindeer from last year are darker brown than that. This one's kind of interesting in that like, both reindeer in the 2018 advent calendar were the same color, They're like a deep brown. But this one's, uh, the grime is kind of like a brown, and this one's like a tan color, but it's also got a bunch of scuff marks on it, so, is this used? I don't know. Whatever, it's the exact same mold, I think. It's the exact same mold, just different color. So, get another reindeer. Day 15. It. Up, and we're back to the redeco game. Oh, wait, no, that was last last yesterday. The other reindeer. So the redeco game again. So the reason they why they have the reindeer is because they threw in a sleigh piece, and it has these harnesses. You can fit the reindeer in there. This is they did the same exact stunt last year. I think it's actually really cool. How they like built this up over. Like if you're opening like one a day, this would be really cool. Like you build this up and it would. Whatever, so you just put that on there. And now Santa can deliver presents in style with his soccer themed car. So there's the sleigh. I'm gonna keep the reindeer in there. Okay, then he's 16. That looks big. Ooh, this is probably a car. Ooh, hoo hoo. Yo, guys, it's Ollie Rocket. So I had the first edition's Ollie Rocket, but... I, okay, first off, a uh, big improvement over the first edition's Ollie Rocket. Yeah, the rockets aren't molded in a, a shiny... in that shiny silver plastic, which will turn black. So, that means they don't turn black, and it will continue the amazing aesthetic for eternity. A little backstory, Ollie Rocket was designed by a kid, I think his name was Oliver, for the, uh, in, in conjunction with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know how to salute, that's just a, whatever. Alright, yeah, so, Ollie Rocket, uh, I'm glad it's been redecoed. The first edition was an orange and green, which I think looks cool, it said Ollie Rocket on the side. You even had the Make-A-Wish Foundation logo on the package. So I'm glad to see this car still be in production. Uh, it's got this nice blue, white, and gray color scheme. Uh, FD2 or trapezoid five spoke tires. And then, let's see, N21, 20, copyright 2015. Ollie Rocket, made in Malaysia. See, this is the thing. Look, there used to be a nice variance with the bases. Like, you would either get Malaysia or Thailand. It would make some nice variance between, between cars. Like, collectors would go nuts for this stuff. But now it's just all Malaysia. Thanks, Mattel. I have a few Thailand base cars, but whatever. Okay, so was that what, day 16? Okay, day 17. This one looks small. It's probably the second traffic cone. Okay, so it's the uh, collector pin. Not really collector pin. It's based off the little collector pins you would get from, like, the cars that they made in the 60s and, like, the more recent classics collector stuff. This is Happy Holidays. This is basically just the exact same thing they did last year. It even said Happy Holidays in the other one. I think it's a different deco in the center, and I think the Happy Holidays are in a different color, but other than that, pretty much the exact same thing. Just a collector pin that you can't pin to anything. Makes it a hassle to display. 
Okay. On the day 18, it's probably a car. Yeah. Nope. But this is bad. It's gonna be awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, the meme Yeti has been topped with a. The heck is this? I thought the meme Yeti was gonna be top. Not what, what? What is this? Why is his face unpainted? I'm gonna call this guy Grouchy Puss. He has a one ear hanging out, older than white. Whatever this is, the feet feel like they're good. Like they're, the feet are like wiggling around. Same with the hands. I don't know what's up with that. I'm gonna call this guy Grouchy Puss. Whatever. He has a big nose though. He's also very very fat. Saint Santa. It looks like it's supposed to be, looks like it's supposed to be one of his elves, but it, what what? Yeah, forget it. As that was interesting. Day nineteen. So this is probably a car. Wait, it's a tab on. Yeah, it's probably something else. Okay, so. Okay, so last year they released this Christmas tree, right? This is the Christmas tree is a redeco, and it had these little knobs on the side. And at first, I thought it was they were gonna include ornaments in later days, but nope. So I just had these two knobs on the side. But this, I don't know. They have this, so I guess these knobs have a practical function. This is new. This is a redeco. So there's little knobs on the side of a practical function. I have no idea you're supposed to get this on there. So uh, the thing that you're supposed to do is you're supposed to like attach it. This to your car. I don't know. I'm gonna try my hardest here. Probably won't work too well. Oh god, I don't, don't want to break it. Like, let me get a car. That's all I need. Like, MR11 is smooth. What the frick is going on? How do you do this? This is just what I'm assuming you're supposed to do is just thread it around the car. Okay, so let me. The like, car is too wide and the straps too narrow. Okay, I think we're making some headway into that. Yes, just I just broke the. Oh shoot. Oh, okay. You don't slip it on there. You're just supposed to, idiots. So you're just supposed to undo the strap, then put the tree around the car, and then put the strap back. They even included like multiple positions so that the car is too big or too small. You can resize it. That's Clever, Mattel. Well played. Very well played. Only now, if it took me, the, I have a feeling that if it took like someone like me that long to figure that out, it would take a kid forever. I can see a little kid getting very frustrated with this very fast. Let me, let me just put it on the first one for both, and then yeah, that makes a difference. They enjoying this yet? Happy holiday out. Get there. I think that with my best attempts. There we go. And I don't think the car will roll. Yeah, the car won't roll. It's too wide. Or it's too big in the bottom. See, I can see a kid, like a little kid, getting very frustrated with this. So, parents, uh, if you're watching this video somehow, which, why are you watching this video? <laughs> um, yeah, just be warned. What day was that? I forgot what day I'm on now. I think over, okay, that was day 19, so. Day 20. It's gonna be a car. Okay. Bedlam. Yet again, they have Bedlam in this set. Last year, last year they had a blue Bedlam, which has very nice race team colors. Heck, I even have it on the shelf uh, next to my, uh, next to my, uh, you know, my, uh, uh, the 50th anniversary uh, race team guys they released last year. But this one's kind of a nice silver. I have a feeling I've seen this guy before. And given how on the box they show the tree with bedlam, it would be easier to just put the tree in the bed. And he says this. It's a little more flesh body. Come on, you stupid tree. You can do it. Oh, sorry, I said. This isn't very copper compliant now, is it? Just get on there. 
This is stupid. There's up this isn't putting stress on the axle. Oh, there we go. That looks a bit cooler. I'm gonna take this off now because I don't want this putting stress on the axles. So, yeah, there's bedlam. It's got a looks like a painted silver metal base. M21, Bedlam, Copyright 2003, Malaysia. He's got PR5s and tires in orange. Okay, 21. Three days left. No, four days left, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Or four things left. I'm opening these all in one day. Another original accessory. It's a pile of logs. What is a kid going to do with a pile of logs? I get it. You wanted to save money on, like, cars by including these accessories but what kid is gonna want this like just, like come on it's like just imagine if like you're a little kid you're like five or six you run downstairs to open your advent calendar on day 20 and you get a pile of logs like, at least the lamp and the sled and the accessory or the ramp and the sled and the accessories and even mr grouchy puss here are pretty pretty cool like Heck, even this tree, as stupid and frustrating as it is, at least it has a practical function. What are you gonna do with this? It's kind of the same thing with, like, the tires and the barricade. Like, at least the barricade kind of works. But I'm, I'm gonna rename this guy Grouchy Pants. But he looks more like a Grouchy, grouchy Pants. Just thought I'd say that. I'd call him Grouchy Pants now. It's great. So, anyway, that's day 20, I think. Was it th that was day 21. Day 22. Let's get this over with. A redecoed, uh, this is the redecoed gas canister. There, you can have it. Because they had a gas thing just like this with the Santa hat and everything last year. The only difference, this is a darker red. The other one was in a brighter red. So that's kind of disappointing. Day 23. Oh my goodness, it's a redecoed snowman. It's a redecoed version of the snowman. So last year they had a snowman. Uh, it was the exact same as this, except all this, all the stuff that was in black was replaced with blue. So, at the very least, it looks kind of cool, except for the nose, which looks like it's a, a, a rotten carrot. At least everything else looks pretty decent. I dig the black. I prefer that. Anyway, last day. It's probably going to be a car. There's still one more car we got to get out. Ho, ho, ho. Santa was very kind to me this year. One of my favorite cars. It's Carbonic. See, I have a sentimental connection with Carbonic. See, as a kid, I was in... Remember, anyone else remember Battle Force 5? Like, anyone at all? You know how they really... If you do, then you remember that toy line, right? Now, if you grew up in the States like me, uh, you couldn't find any of the, seri the Season 2 toy line, except for the McDonald's toys in any stores, right? So naturally, when they introduced two new cars... The good guys you clamored for those, like me, right? Search eBay high and low. I got gear slammer as a kid. I never got the split wire. Ever. I still can't find it. So, as a kid, I used Carbonic. I had the first edition's Carbonic. Like, it was years after Battle Horse 5 and ended, but I was still playing with the toys as a kid. So, I had my first edition's Carbonic in black and electric blue, and that was my substitute split wire. And then the axle broke, and I couldn't use it. So then, I... What I did is I, uh, I got a new Carbonic, same same car, but it was years later, same exact deco and everything. So at least that ever the status quo has been fixed. I dig this Carbonic. This is an, this is a nice deco. So it's got a dark green interior and a nice get red. It's got some white tires or right white paint in the tires. It's got some red, red unpainted plastic base. Copyright twenty fourteen Carbonic M twenty one Malaysia base. Yada yada yada. So, that, my friends, is the, uh, the Hot Wheels 2019 Advent Thunder, and who boy, what a way to end a year. So, uh, that's, that concludes the, uh, Rod and Todd holiday special. Uh, happy holidays from Rod and Todd. Uh, this will be my last video of the year, so, might as well go up with a bang, am I right? So, happy holidays from all of us here at Rod and Todd. And uh, i see you next year. See you next decade. This has been Rod and Todd signing off for 2019 and the 2010s.